church family. Uh, we wanted to spend a few moments to follow up on the very exciting announcement Pastor McNeil made concerning our partnership with Prison Fellowship to be a part of the Angel Tree Ministry this year for Christmas. Beginning Sunday, December 4th, there will be two trees down in Moffat Hall, and that's the hallway outside of the Fellowship Hall slash gym slash youth room areas. On these two trees will be 150 of these decorated angels that our children and students, student ministries have decorated for us. Now, each one of these angels represents one of 150 children that we as Pleasant View have committed to sponsor for this Christmas year. Now, on the back of each of these angels is a QR code, not a UR code, that will take you directly to our specific portal page with Angel Tree. And I'll walk you through uh, that page and how to get there here in just a second. Now, when you take one of these angels, what we need you to do is also go and pick up one of the gold angels that says a child has been sponsored and replace your decorated angel on that tree with this one. OK, so you take this one, replace it with this one, and this one comes home with you. On this angel, there is a place where you can put the name of the child you sponsor, their age and their location. And we'll, again, we'll talk through all those here in just a moment. And then that way you can put these on your personal Christmas trees this year and they can be a part of your family's tradition uh, this year as well. Now, when you get ready to use the QR code, it is really simple. If you uh, take out your smartphone, open up your camera app like this, and you point to the QR code, it will automatically pull a pop-up that will take you directly to our Angel Tree website. Now, if you don't have a smartphone or if you are having trouble getting to that page using the QR code, you can always go to the church website, that's pbcarlington.org, and look for the Angel Tree banner. Click on that and it will take you to uh, our portal page. All right, so let's get into looking at this portal page. Okay, so when you pull up the Angel's Tree page, this for this pop-up will be the first thing that you see. It's gonna ask you how you would like to sponsor and it's for specific, specifically for Pleasant View Baptist Church. Now you can sponsor just by identifying that you wanna sponsor, let's say five kids, or you can go through and pick out a specific child or children that you wanna sponsor. If you just wanna say, hey, I wanna sponsor five kids, you can go in, click on that and identify five. It's gonna give you your total and you hit submit. It's going to take you to the do, uh, review your donation page and we'll finish through the pro, uh, payment process here in just a moment. Now, if you want to want to pick your specific child, you click on that button and what it's going to do, it's going to show you that we have either how many sponsored out of the 150 that we are going to uh, we've committed to. Uh, and you just scroll through and you identify who is who it is based off of whether it's a boy or girl, their age, and wh where they're located here in the state of Texas or outside of the state in any part of the uh, country. Now you can filter and find a specific child based off of their location, whether they're a boy or a girl, and their age range. So if you wanted to say, oh, I want a child between five and six, you come in and select five to six, and it's going to filter them out to where you just have the five or six year olds. Now, it's always gonna give you the show me more option at the when you scroll down to where it's gonna load more children for you. So you're not just uh, constrained to those handful of children right there on that first thing. If you wanna search by, let's say you just wanna sponsor a little girl, you can click a girl. You can also put the date range back in it and filter it by that. So if you wanna filter a one-year-old little girl, that's how you would do that. If you want to specifically sponsor people in the state of Texas, you would go down, click Texas, where there's 5,198 children to be sponsored. And then you can also identify based off of county. So like for us, we're in Tarrant County. So if you go all the way down here at the end to Tarrant County and click on that, that will show you the 51 children that are here in Tarrant County. Uh, that includes Azel, Crowley, uh, Fort Worth. I'm not sure if there's anybody specifically, well, there's not anybody specifically in Arlington or they would be up here at the top, but it'll show you uh, show you these kiddos. So let's 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 pick one of these kids and, uh, and say that we're going to uh, sponsor them. Uh, let's go down one more and see Fort Worth. 
let's say we're going to sponsor Cynthia in Fort Worth. She is a 14 year old and that's who we are going to select. So when you do that up here in the corner, it's going to show you check out one or if you want to select more than one, you would pick multiple different uh, children that way. If you go all the way back up to the top, up here where it shows Pleasant View Baptist Churches, it will also show you give now and in parentheses how many children you've selected, okay? So you can click on that. Down here, it will then show you the list of children or child that you've opted to sponsor. Now, Angel Tree also gives you the ability that if you want to help support the caregiver of this child, you have that option. And it, depending on how many caregivers, it will indicate that here. Uh, you can select yes if you want to sponsor, and that sponsorship is the same price as the donation for the child, which is $25, uh, or you can say no. This is entirely up to you. We have committed to sponsoring these children. If you decide you want to sponsor a caregiver, that is absolutely fine as well, okay? Now, once you've done all that, you would hit proceed to payment, and here it's going to give you the option to pay with ACH. That's with your bank account, so it's like writing a check or with a credit card or a debit card. You fill all that information in here. When it gets down to this, you are going to indicate that you're giving as an individual. Now, you, the reason it's doing that is you are not giving on behalf of the church. You are giving as an individual uh, partnering with us, okay? Now, uh, Pastor did mention that you can always throw, uh, put your money in the offering plate or give online through the church giving app, and we will take care of that. This is where I would handle that. I will give collectively for the church organization. So I would get, take all of those funds and give it once uh, for the church. Once you've completed all of this information, you would hit confirm payment. It will process out and send you a giving receipt. Okay. So we want to go ahead and take this opportunity to thank our church family for their desire and passion to help those who may be hurting this Christmas without this uh, without their parents to be there for them. And we're excited to watch our church family to be the hands and feet of Jesus to these individuals. Now, if you run into any questions or you have any issues, please uh, contact us here at the church office at 817-483-7100, or you can send us an email at info at pbcarlington.org, and someone will get back with you real quick uh, and try to answer your questions for you. Okay? Again, thank you all so much for your willingness to partner uh, with us on this uh, amazing ministry. Merry Christmas and God bless you all.